Today I'm going to be talking about nothing, or to be more exact, the number zero. And I'm going to be asking, is zero a natural number? Now, you may have heard it said that natural numbers are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Or you may have heard that zero is a natural number too. So which is it? Is zero a natural number or not? Let's take a closer look. I'm not going to get much into historical issues here because I did that in an earlier video, but I will point out that zero is a much more recent addition to maths than are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. It was first used for positional purposes when writing numbers, but not as a number in its own right. The Romans didn't use it at all, and when zero started to be used in the West later on, the church was dead against it, even describing it as demonic. Anyway, considering zero as a number, let's get back to our original question. Is zero a natural number? The answer, it turns out, depends on how we choose to define natural numbers. One way to define natural numbers is as the set of cardinals. In other words, the numbers of elements of finite sets. It follows that one is a natural number, uh, since, for example, it's the cardinal of the set containing the letter A, or whatever other single thing you care to imagine. 2 is a natural number because it's the cardinal, for example, of the set formed by the letters A and B. And so on for all the rest of the natural numbers. By this definition, 0 is also a natural number because it's the cardinal of the empty set, the set that has no members. A different definition of natural numbers starting from real numbers is that natural numbers are the intersection of inductive sets. What's an inductive set? A subset K of real numbers is an inductive set if it contains 1, and if N is an element of K, then N plus 1 is also an element of K. So by this definition, what are the natural numbers? What is the intersection of inductive sets? It's clear that the set 1, 2, 3 and so on is an inductive set, and also that it's contained in all inductive sets. Therefore, if we define natural numbers as the intersection of all inductive sets, natural numbers would be 1, 2, 3 and so on. So by this definition, 0 is not a natural number. The answer to whether zero is a natural number or not depends on the definition we adopt. And even professional mathematicians disagree over this. So what's your opinion? Do you consider zero to be a natural number? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time.